Hey everyone, welcome back to Atomic News TV. And today I just got home from work, made dinner, haven't even changed out of my scrubs, and I am back filming with an update on the migrants from the south. Uh, my dogs are here in the room with me, so they will most likely interrupt us. And then I do have my kid right here who is Hi. sick. Hey. And so she's here and here in the room with me. <laughs> so she's listening to everything I'm saying. But that's fine because um, she understands. We had a discussion about this. Um, <clears throat> so the migrants coming from the south. I made a video about them about two days ago. And I was kind of on the fence on how I felt. But now today after I've done some more research. Um, I always surf Yahoo um, on my lunch break. And I was looking at photos, and I was looking at photos up close. And I'm going to attach some of those photos to the end of this video so you can see some of the things that I'm talking about, that I'm not just making this up and pulling this out of thin air. Okay? <clears throat> I'm not so thrilled about them coming now, after what I saw. Because <clears throat> now I am absolutely convinced that somebody is behind this. And most likely, the Democrats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was uh, as I was looking at these pictures. These people are walking across countries, supposedly, right? Walking. Mm -hmm. And I talked about before how I was concerned. Um, my dogs are being boogers as usual. Get out! Leave her alone. Come here, <laughs> Um, They're supposed to be walking oh. across countries, right? They're not. They're not. They're getting transported. Okay, I can see if you go on Yahoo and just search migrants, you know, car migrant caravan and photos. Go to the images on Yahoo and you will see photo after photo of all these immigrants that are on their way. <clears throat> okay? And you can see them being loaded into trucks. So these guys are not walking across the country. Um, they, uh, so yeah, when I see a picture of them in flip-flops, it all makes sense now because they're not walking in flip-flops, they're riding in flip-flops. Um, I was looking at them going, well, why are they all in clean clothes if they're sleeping on the floor in the dirt, right? Why are all their clothes clean? Their hair looks freshly cut. Um, <clears throat> their hair has product in it. Like men have, you can see that they've got like, you know, not like mohawks, but like faux hawks type of thing, you know, where they, you know, put it up in the middle. Um, <clears throat> their sneakers are, well, their sneakers not so much or not, are, are weren't very new. Backpacks look new. Jackets, sweatshirts, hats. They looked brand new. Name brands. Name brands that I don't even own, okay? Because I think they're too expensive. Why do these people that are supposed to be coming from poor countries have such nice things? So, I have a little list here of the things that I saw that I was a little appalled over. Okay, one guy, which I'm going to attach this picture, I kid you not, was sitting on a curb eating KFC. Fried chicken. They got fried chicken in Mexico, apparently. Okay, and this dude was eating a hot meal from KFC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're supposed to be poor. But you got enough to buy yourself some KFC, right? Okay, the kids were carrying brand new games. Um, there was one little boy that had... He was holding in his arm like this, his Jenga game. So somehow... The kids are getting things. Um, I saw balls, games, coloring books, things like that. Okay, now they could have taken these things with them, but if they all, if they only have a backpack, these kids can only fit so much in their backpack, right? This big box, a big box of Jenga. They're not going to use their backpack that much space in their backpack for a game for their kid. They're going to be packing the essentials like a toothbrush or underwear or socks or things like that, right? Not a giant Jenga game. So where did this come from, right? And then one girl, she's wearing heels. I'm not even joking, okay? And we're not talking like heels like this, but you know, about that, enough. I'm like, so you're walking across a country in heels? 
Mm-hmm. No, because she ain't walking across the country. They're loading them up into trucks. And you can see videos of them loading them up into trucks. So somebody's transporting them. Who? Who's transporting them? Because what I read earlier over the weekend was that they were a little nervous about getting onto buses and things like that because they were afraid they were going to bus them back over the border. <laughs> so they must know that these trucks are safe to get into and will transport them farther. And then they stop and all get out and walk for photo ops. That is what they're doing. Photo opportunities, okay? Sleeping bags were brand new. They were still in the plastic packaging, you know, with a drawstring. Have you ever seen those? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Blankets. This is supposed to be sweltering heat. <clears throat> But these guys are wearing brand new jackets, long sleeves, and I found out why. Because they are being helped by the American Red Cross. And I'm going to attach a picture with proof at the end of this video. <clears throat> I realize that we give aid to these countries to the south. But why is the American Red Cross helping a migrant caravan that wants to come over to America illegally that we don't want and Trump wants to stop with the military. Trump wants to stop it with the military, but the red, the American Red Cross is going to go help them. That makes no sense to me. And that makes me mad. Why is what we are don't, I mean, I donated to the Red Cross before. <clears throat> I don't want my money going to illegals. This is the American Red Cross, not the Mexican Red Cross, not the Guatemalan Red Cross. <clears throat> In this photo that I'm going to share with you, there's a man that looks like he's like resting or sleeping or something. And next to him is a plastic bag full of what looks like shirts, white shirts. And you can see the Red Cross on it. And it says uh, Cross Roja. I'm not sure. I think that's what red is in Spanish. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Um, <clears throat> babies had packages of diapers. There were packs of formula. And there was even a tent, which I'll show you a picture at the end of this as well. Well, not necessarily a tent, but like a tarp covering all their supplies. People, someone's going in and dropping supplies. And I, I don't think it's the Mexican government. I think it's us because of seeing the Red Cross logo. I think it's us. So somebody on the American side is helping them. <clears throat> and under this tarp were, you know, cases of water, food, supplies, things like that. Okay. It's a little difficult to see, but you can clearly tell that there are cases of water. So you know that underneath the tarp is going to be more supplies, various things, such as the diapers, the food, the formula. Um, somebody is donating all these clothes and you will see a picture that I'm going to attach of this pile of clothes and people are picking through the clothes, finding what they want. So somebody's giving them clean clothes every single day for them to change into for their trek across these countries to illegally come into the U.S. Yep, probably the Red Cross. Not happy about that. Not happy at all. In fact, I'm angry now. I'm angry and I will never donate to the Red Cross again. They just lost my charity. Um, there are all, all these women, their hair is neat. They have makeup on. Um, we're talking their eyebrows are lined. Some of them better than mine. <laughs> and am I jealous? No, I'm just lazy and that's why mine aren't, you know, all done up right now. Um, but... I want to know who else out there is angry and who else doesn't care. Is there anybody that doesn't care? Is there anybody that it doesn't phase them and it really doesn't matter to them? I wouldn't mind knowing as well. Either way, ta you know, I would like to hear opinions from both sides. Now, some people were arguing in regards to Trump saying um, he, you know, we, we can't use military force, blah, 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 blah. Well, I read today that a, I'm going to read my notes here too, because it's kind of long. So bear with me here. <clears throat> a 19th century federal law restricts using the army and other main branches of the military for civilian law enforcement on American soil, unless specifically authorized by Congress. 
Now we know Congress is not going to do that. It would have to be, you know, a Trump like executive order. Um, but the military can provide support services to law enforcement and has done so on many occasions since the 1980s. Some specific statutes authorize the president to deploy troops within the United States for riot control or relief efforts after natural disasters. So, there's his loophole right there. Trump can have them help because it can be considered a riot. When they come to the border, if they do what they did at the southern Mexican border, where they tore down the fences and were chanting and... Uh, we're acting like damn fools. He can, you can consider that riot potential. So that gives him his, his out right there to deploy the military to assist at the border and shut down the border to keep them from coming in. He's going to get a lot of heat for this. He's going to get a lot of heat for this, but he needs to do it. He can't be like Obama and be like, okay, here's the line. Don't cross it. Oh, ha, just kidding. Here's the next line. Don't cross that. Trump won't do that. Mm -mm. So if he says he's going to shut the border down, he'll do it. He'll do it. Unless, I mean, it's got to be a big reason why he wouldn't. And if he decided not to, I'd support him. I support him 100%. Uh, Hi, Ragnar. Ragnar wants to say hi, but he knows better. He needs to stay down there. So, anyway, in a tweet today, uh, Republican U.S. Senator Marco Rubio wrote, While unlawful migration to U.S. from Central America is caused by real crisis, the migrant caravan was manufactured by supporters of a radical agenda who are using poor and desperate people to try and embarrass and undermine the U.S. in the region. But it's going to backfire on them. And you know what? I think he's right. Hi, Boo. Boo wants to say hi, too. I think Marco Rubio is right. Um, I think it absolutely is funded and started by somebody here in this country. Is it George Soros? I don't know. I don't know. Is it Democrats? I don't know. But it's somebody who is anti-Trump. Okay? They want to make Trump look bad. They want to make the Republicans look bad before the election next month. Um, They want something big. To happen, and that's probably why they're trucking them now, because the hurricane is coming. It's supposed to be a Cat Five scheduled to hit Mexico. Natural disaster. That's another loophole for Trump. He can deploy the military for natural disaster. Mm Mm-hmm. So if a hurricane hits Mexico, and they try to cross the border, and they are unruly, and uh, you want to act the way they did down at the southern border. Trump has everything in his pocket. These guys are going to give it to him on a platter. They're going to serve it up and be like, here you go. And they're going to make it so easy for him to shut down that border and call the military in. Mm -hmm. I want to see him do it. Do it. The world needs to know that America is no longer weak. We don't have a weak president anymore. anymore. Uh, We don't have weak borders. We don't have weak people. Um, We are the United States of America. So, if you disagree with what I'm saying, it's cool. You know, it's America. We're all entitled to our opinions and we're all entitled to feel how we feel. And even though you may have a different opinion than mine, I value what you have to say. And I don't mind hearing it. Um, So, if you want to leave a comment below feel free to do so hey i'm cool with it hopefully you're cool too um if you do agree with what i have to say right on guys um i do like to follow topics like this um i do like to post things about a variety of things i like to uh talk about everything that's up in space (laughs) i am kind of a conspiracy theorist i do uh like to talk about um makeup. I like to talk about things that happen in my life. I'm a veterinary assistant. I um, have got some things in my head about what I want to talk about in regards to that. Um, I like to talk about my dogs, my medical conditions. Shit, I'll talk about anything. I don't give a crap. Nope. Um, It's YouTube, right? 
It's the United States of America. We can do whatever we want. As long as we follow the law. Got it? All right, guys. If you like my video, hit like. Hit subscribe. Because I'm trying to grow my subscriber base. So I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> and anyway, there's cute dogs, right? <laughs> right, Ragnar? Yeah. Um, so, all right. Until next time, guys. Have a good night. Peace out.